Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, today, I'm going to try to save myself some money. Um, I have a camshaft that I got with the aluminum block and it's worth quite a bit. I'm um, not going to lie, it's worth quite a bit uh, and it works with this motor. So it's got one buggered lobe. Let's uh, flip this around here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Right here, it's got one, one buggered lobe. As you can see. Right? So, and all the rest of them are, are good, right? All the rest of them are good. So, and this is a uh, There we go. Comp cams 54700-11. It's the uh, Thumper 2 or some shit like that. The no springs required cam from from uh, from Comp, and it's like 680 bucks Canadian. I didn't know that when I I was going through the shed looking for junk or just looking just looking for shit like extra shit that I don't need no more, so I could try to free up some funds to keep going, like to do, get some other shit done. Right, found the cam, and I'm like, I knew it was there, but. Yeah, I was like, yeah, we'll see. Weather's nice now a little bit. I still got the heaters going, as you can see, because it's like, I think like 42 degrees Fahrenheit right now. <laughs> so, pretty chilly still, but warm enough to work. Um, got my WD-40. Got all of my emery cloth. So what I'm going to do now is uh, watch some YouTube on my phone. Uh, probably like Samit or fucking Stapleton or Tommy FBI or some shit like that and uh, see what I can do. I'll be back with an update. If this works guys it's gonna save me like it's gonna save me $120 to take it to a machine shop because that's what they charge to fix this or like, I was quoted 120 bucks to fix it plus it's probably like fucking 40 bucks in fuel to get there and back. So, if I can fix this, I'm going to be fixing a $600 cam for free, I guess. Stay tuned. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'd say that turned out pretty damn well. It's not as, you know, as fucked as it was. Um... It's smooth. My only concern is the the um, the pitch, right? That I may have changed the angles and stuff like that. So I'm still gonna send it to the machine shop just just to get them to uh, just to dial it. That's it. It's the only reason. But other than that, folks, I think I did it. What do you think? Comment down below. Would you run this cam? The way it is? Now that the guy spent the time with some WD-40 and some emery cloth and polished it up, I don't see a problem with it at all. All the rest of them are all fine. Oh, sorry about that, guys. My camera is having an issue. Ooh, there's a little bit of... It's having an... It's because of the shininess. It's in my camera's fucking zoom issues. They're all fucking up. There we go. See a little bit of scoring here, but that's not a big fucking deal. All the rest of them are all, you know, a little bit of, a little bit there. But don't forget this mo this camshaft was in a motor that had AM, AFM, and DOD delete, and something happened and it had a failure on this lifter. So. And it looks not bad. Not bad at all. But yeah, what do you guys think? Think of polish and she'll be fine? If that even, eh? So. But I'm stoked. That means that now I, well, I, fuck, I might even take it to the machine shop. Like I said, I could just stick it in and be done with it. Um, or I could sell it. 
I, I have been thinking of that actually. Um, you know, I I don't hear much on the market about this cam at all. But you hear all this shit about the Elgin Sloppy Stage 2 and the Pac-1218 Springs and all that shit, right? So I was like, well, fuck. Why don't I sell this expensive cam and buy that shit? Right? Well, I don't know if I can. Oh, I think my camera kind of fucked up. That's okay. I'll figure it out. <laughs> but I don't think I can. I can't remember what I was saying. I don't know. Cause I, my camera fucking up distracted me. Uh, but yeah, I was going to sell it for that shit. But I think this being a no spring cam, no spring required, it would probably be my best bet to keep it. Should work with a turbo. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I haven't heard much about these things. Comment down below. Like, what would you rather run? Would you rather run a Comcam cam or the Elgin? A Thumper or an Elgin? Around here. There we go. You guys see the number on it? Here. Let me do this again. There. This guy, the 54700-11 Comcam. cam. <laughs> or, there we go, or an Elgin Sloppy Stage 2. You know, like I could sell this cam for probably what, 500 bucks, four or 500 bucks. Um, the Elgin's three, the Springs are two. You know what I mean? Like, what would you do? Comment down below. I'd love to hear it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, the video that I made, that I was making for, that I made, ended up making that with, I was going to start doing this video. And then I got the call or the text to get that thing or, yeah that thing right there so but we have some plans for that as you guys will see so but that's all for today um yeah i guess you can you can fix the camshaft with uh with wd-40 and memory cloth you can fix the camshaft you guys there it is so until next time thank you guys so much for tuning in Love you guys, take care, and God bless.